Howdy everyone, Runt9 here and welcome to Runt9 Plays One Step From Eden. One Step From Eden is a roguelike deck builder, real-time craziness game that came out from Thomas Moon Kang in early access a few weeks back. I already did a review over the game and if you watch that review you know exactly how I feel about the game. And uh, we'll just say that it's good enough that I've bought it twice. I have it on my Switch, I play it when I'm going to bed and at this point I was really struggling to figure out exactly what I wanted to play for the next week, and I, I jumbled a couple different things. I actually recorded 30 minutes of uh, uh, Selfless Heroes, which is a really neat programming game, but I realized that I spent the entire 30-minute episode trying to optimize a puzzle, and I just realized it wasn't that interesting. And so at this point, it's kind of late, and I just, I really want to have fun for a week and give you guys some exciting content. And One Step From Eden is definitely exciting content, in my opinion. So since there are seven days, we're going to play seven different characters. Now, the problem is there are eight characters in the game, not counting the shopkeeper, who, you know, I'll beat someday, but not right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to play everyone except Saffron, because Saffron is not necessarily the easiest, but the easiest one to pivot to different play styles. So... We're going to start from the top of the list, work our way down. That means day one, we're going to play Reva, which is perfect because Reva is my best character. Now, ideally, we would get one run per episode. That's not necessarily a guarantee. And so if you haven't seen this game yet, it is uh, a little on the crazy side. Also, that shield catch was definitely not worth it. Um, it is a really fantastic game. Every character plays very differently. And so what we're playing, who we're playing as right now is Reva, the shield maiden. Her thing is basically she has a shield and she gets better by having more shield. Because her primary source of damage early on is shield throw, which you fire your shield that does damage equal to your current amount of shield. We're actually going to move the camera around just a little bit. Bring it... Oh, not, not that. Uh, undo that. We'll grab the whole overlay, actually. Bring this bad boy up here. Just that way you can see how many upgrades and removals that we have. So, it wants either frost or mana regen for broken tile... Neither of those are that great, but I think we're more likely to leverage broken tiles. Trinity, when you shuffle, is very, very curious. Honestly, let's, uh, let's focus in on a Trinity build and try to keep the, the deck as thin as possible. Shield catch will get me into trouble like you saw in that last one. So we're actually not going to go shield catch. I want to get that out of my deck, and I, I think that I want to go full thin deck meta. Which is a little bit difficult to pull off, but I, I think that I am up for the challenge. So for you, let's, uh, let's go diagonal beam from back here. That was a full whiff. Oh man, okay, so you want to get flawlesses because they give you extra XP. So just get up and throw the diagonal beam on that guy. That, that'll take care of what you need it to. And just like, stop stop thinking so hard about it. So, shields up absolutely must take on Reva every single time you see it. But past that, I'm actually not sure that I, I really want to deal with too many more shield spells. I think that at this point, I want to dig in for a top tier trinity generator and a top tier trinity utilizer and what i mean by that is basically i want to get a spell that gives us trinity and a spell that does a bunch of damage with trinity and so there there's a couple of each but essentially minigun would be a good trinity spell i definitely do not have any issues rocking a minigun deck so as long as we get the requisite spell power to make it better. And this may all sound like complete nonsense to you. If you haven't seen the game before, honestly, just sit back, realize that I don't have any idea what I'm doing either, but it's a lot of fun. And I can already tell you right away that this is so much better of a fit than what I was going to play. Even though the game was really interesting, it's definitely a game that I should just play on my own. It doesn't have the entertainment value that I wanted out of it. 
So we're we're gonna we're gonna play one step from Eden and we're gonna have a great time. So give me a give me a diagonal beam there. That should do some decent work. And then we've got a shield that can do a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be a flawless. Yes, absolutely. So I'm gonna, like I said, we're going for a thin deck, thin deck daddy right here. Definitely gonna try to pop this chest. We need to be three tiles back and then just keep moving. Give me the anchor and then give me the, ah, you hate to see it. Come on. Give me the shield. Ah, we didn't get there. They just don't have a lot of early damage as Reva. You know, you have to be able to really get your shield up. And I realized that I got rid of shield catch, which is one of the best ways to generate early shield. And I, I mean, that's that's a fair criticism. You could be like, hey, why'd you eat uh, shield catch? Mana steel is what we're looking for. Mana steel adds a trinity and with trinity cast it twice. That's 240 damage. You go mana steel and you love life. So at this point, honestly, I want to get shield beam out of here and I want to get diagonal beam out of here. And I basically want to have shields up, shield throw, mana steel, and then some other trinity generator. And then just shuffle as quickly as we can. Now, the problem is you do lose shield every time you shuffle. So ideally we would get duct tape, which reduces the amount of shield that you lose but we'll kind of just have to see what we end up with. Mana regen is just a great pickup here, but I think the upgrade is more important because this way we can try to land the double cast on shields up. We got there, you love to see it. At that point, you just move on, keep your 30 coins, and then we'll try to go beat up Hazel. Now, Hazel is a bit of a tough boss when you fight her early on and you don't have much damage and especially don't have much AoE. Because she can be a bit of a pain. But I think that we'll be okay. Honestly, go ahead and eat that. And that way we keep our shield going. We've got a Trinity cast ready to go. So pop her in the face. And just keep things going. Give me a shield throw there. And then we need to get back here and go for a diagonal beam. And then just try to not take any damage. I'm actually going to stand here. And give me a shield toss on that one. Give me some more shields, and then I think I want to go for probably a diagonal beam right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That That's good eats. Give me a double cast there. We're doing okay. This isn't going to end up being a flawless, but we are playing pretty well right now. Okay, so this attack is a big pain to deal with later on, but she's going to smash that, and then we can just kind of hang back. Yeah, so we lost our Flawless, but I mean, Flawlessing a boss is really hard to do, especially early on. You don't really want to count on it. So Mana Regen is definitely like our biggest problem at the moment. Oh, that was, that was an absolutely major, major whiff. You do not want to whiff a Shield Catch. So we're going to stand here. And one of the tricks that I found out is when she's throwing those down, you can just tank a little bit of damage to the face. Speaking of big whiffs, dude. And basically let her drop those structures on you. And it's not as much damage as the smashers do. Now, still, ideally, you would not take any of that damage at all. But she's going to do that. Kill her. And then at this point, you know what? I'm more comfortable fighting the wall than anyone else. So we'll save some and we'll kill some. In this case, I want to kill her. We need the early upgrades. And then at this point, skip that. We're just looking for something that aids with Trinity generation. Um, one removal, you know what? Get diagonal beam out of my deck. And then absolutely mana regen, easily the most important thing at this point. Or no, 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 remove shield beam, diagonal beam is okay for now. We need the damage. I'm gonna go to the ruins because the two bosses that I still have the most problems with uh, Terra and Reva are, are actually, we are Reva, so this will just be Terra, which is good because Terra can be a big pain for me. Unfortunately, couldn't save the hostage there, but not a big deal. Just, uh, this enemy is very easy to deal with. You just kind of got to sit back and, you know, build up some good damage. Diagonal Beam puts in good work because it hits multiple times. So as long as you can actually hit him with it. 
Get in a shield toss. There you go. Enough to get past the defense. Got our flawless. Easy enough. Fire laser beam till you move. A great one, but it's not what I'm trying to build here. Okay, so at this point, I see a chest plus a camp at the bottom, but I see a few battles and a chest or a shop, depending upon where we're at financially. So we'll go ahead and go this route. We're going to want a diagonal beam there. And that did some good damage without yeeting the nurse. You love to see it, get that kill, and then unfortunately we may not be able- Yeah, 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 ah. I thought we were gonna get there. We also, because of that, whiffed the shield catch. So we basically just wanna get this guy dead. And unfortunately, like, we're not quite getting there. So we should kinda just wait a second until he pops back out. And then, you hate to see it. At this point, we may want to try to... Actually, you know what? Diagonal beam there? Yes. Okay. That's what we should have done forever ago, and then just yeet this guy. Okay. Much longer battle than it should have been, but we got the heal. We're back up to full spell power. You love to see it, but it's not a trinity enabler. And the only reason I would take focus is if we're going to grab minigun later on. Which I'm certainly not against, but... I actually, you know what? I think that is beneficial because yes, we want the Trinity on shuffle, but we don't want to deal with the shield loss on shuffle uh, that much. So it is going to be beneficial regardless. And just keep in mind that so the Shield Maiden does have an attack or a way to reflect spells. I very rarely use it because the timing is a little wonky. And I'm also bad, which is probably the biggest part of it. We just lost our Flawless there. And that's one that's like, you definitely could have reflected that. But you know what? We'll just we'll just take what we got here. And it, again, lost the Flawless, but still an easy battle. Didn't take any damage. There is Minigun. Good pickup, good Trinity enabler. Does some good damage. Shield when you shuffle, that aids with the fact that we lose some shield on shuffle. And we're net, this is not a, you know, 1,000 sh uh, shield, giant shield toss of doom kind of run. This is definitely more focused on a little bit of a, a combination of the shield toss and minigun. We should have popped focus first. Uh, but at this point, now we can drop the minigun and my mans is totally toasted. And at this point, we want spell power. Restore mana and give Trinity, absolutely. And honestly, at this point, our deck is tight. And uh, it's going to take a lot for me to want to add something to this deck. Uh, I, I want the upgrades, and if she has a, you know, a crazy good artifact, we'll take that. None of these are that fantastic, although Corset is interesting from a shield-generating perspective. Losing max mana, gaining luck would only be worth it if we were able to remove it. However, taking damage to gain some money, definitely a possibility. So we grab the upgrade. We definitely want to get minigun upgraded. We definitely, I mean, honestly, minigun focus and mana steel all need upgrades. I also would like to get a uh, diagonal beam out of the deck because at this point we don't need it anymore. So I will take the damage and then buy a... Or no, 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 we don't need the removal. That gave us money so that we can buy another upgrade and we won't deal with the removal right now. So focus getting double cast, incredibly important. We got the double cast, you love to see it. And now you just cross your fingers, you go for the double cast on minigun. Oh, didn't get there. Shots plus two is still good though, especially if we can land a double cast on a future upgrade. So we've got a lot of the pieces that we need cooking. We just got to get there. We just need the rest of the pile. And then we got to double on the minigun. We got the focus ticking. Focus is also good for diagonal beam. We've taken a lot of damage, but that's kind of par for the course on these uh, hazard ones. And I'm doing my best to not free the snake, but so much for that. The snake is free, and he is dangerous. Alright, so we want to get in there and just, like, bop him. Oh, goodness. Alright, we gotta we gotta just yeet the volcano, because it's hard dealing with that and the snake. 
Okay, there we go. 17 damage per shot. You love to see it. Nope, I'm... Oh, but... If we could just leave Empowering... Until we have Minigun... I'm going to do it. Adding that on top of Minigun is just incredible. All right, so Terra. Terra is a massive pain to deal with. I know these attacks, though. It's going to be up next. It's going to be to the left. And then it's going to be up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I know exactly how it works. All right, then it's going to be left, then up, then left, then up. Because it's always the way that has more stuff going on. We've got the spell power. And then honestly, just like sit on it for a second. We've got the Trinity cast. Wait for your moment and just hit the crud out of her, dude. Good damage. You love to see it. And then you got to shuffle that. So she's going to do that one. Okay. I almost have that attack down. So this is going to be right, up, right up ah almost got me you sneaky devil oh hold on i got a windows pop up gotta close that all right refocus dodge give me the minigun damage yeah 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 this one is pretty easy to deal with you just gotta stay focused We've got 13 spell power. Minigun is hitting like a truck right now. We got to shuffle this up. Lose a little bit of shield. But that's okay. Give me, a, give me a good shield toss right there. I'll catch it. I know we took some damage there. All right. We've got a Trinity cast ready to go. Good damage. Oh, no. We got trapped in a bad spot. Okay. We're, we're good. That's a good diagonal beam. We've got Trinity ready on a big ol' spell-powered up minigun, and she's dead. Good stuff. Um, we don't have to heal. I think it's probably a good idea to heal, but... Because she does break tiles at the start, but honestly, just year. We need the upgrades more than anything else. Honestly, I don't want it. I don't want any of it. These are all good. Link for seven seconds to a random enemy is very, very good. But I think that... I think that the removal and get Diagonal Beam out of the deck... I realize that Diagonal Beam has been putting in some work. But I think we don't need it and it's cluttering up what we got going on. So based on who's left, that would just be Gunner. And then we have Celice and Violetta. Honestly, I want to take the chance and try to get Celice out of the way early because uh, it's very frustrating for me to have to fight uh, Celice at a higher tier. Whereas I can handle Violetta pretty much at any level. Oh, that was that was a big whiff. This guy's pretty easy to deal with and then you just throw the spell at him. You should never shuffle that away. You should just like play the spell. There's that. We've got a Trinity cast. We've got some spell power. And then just wait for it and whiff entirely. Okay. And then he's very dead. That's all we needed. We got the heals. Flawless. Easy enough. I love Flamberge, but we're not going to take it here. All right. Let's keep trucking along. We're going to leave it on Convergence, even though at this point I don't think there's anything else that we're necessarily looking for. We'll go to the hostage situation. I don't think we're going to be able to do much here. I don't really want to sit here and take a bunch of damage, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. So there's that minigun we can get up here. It's a little too late. Too little too late. Um, we do still have to kill it. So, you know, we'll deal with that. Obviously, like, you don't get flawlesses in these. And having more shield would have been beneficial, but whatever, it's fine. Apply root for one second to all enemies on Trinity cast. If we can root an enemy on a Trinity casted minigun, that is incredible. Blackout is good, but it is only 99 damage. And I don't think it's enough for me to want that. 
All right, so max mana. Honestly, none of these are that great, but we are shuffling enough that I think Pinwheel might be worth it. All right, so here, ideally, you would just save up and get... Uh, I literally just sent that at the nurse. All right, we've got... We've got what we need. I mean, this is going to yeet everybody, but... He's rooted and then just, like, send it. I mean, really, we didn't have to do that, but this guy is probably going to be a thorn in our side anyways. So we can sit here, not take damage, and then he is dead to a minigun. Okay, rooting on Trinity cast is incredible. And honestly, I don't even know that we need... Uh, what is it? Mana shard? Mana steel anymore? I honestly don't know if we need it. Like, just looping back into Trinity onto... No, we need it to generate Trinity for Minigun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a frustrating fight. I can already tell you that much. We want to probably just start the Minigun ticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, we don't. Oh, crud. I forgot that we need to deal with this guy down here. He is... Uh, th th this thing is a problem. Th this, is a, this is a bad fight for us right now. I'm just going to throw that out there. In case it's not immediately obvious from how poorly this is going for us. But, good damage. You love to see it. Give me the shield. Toss. Get that kill. And now, just dodge. Easy hit, moving right along. We've got Trinity. We can get a kill here. Trinity cast roots, so as long as you're pointed the right direction when you shoot it, you're good. Give me the money. We don't need flow or frost. No, no, none of that. Just give me the cash money. 249, that's definitely a shop situation. We are a little low on HP. I don't like any of this. Halved mana regen, heal, lose defense, gain luck. Honestly, just hit me with those upgrades and try to get a double cast on minigun. Yes, a double cast on mana steel, double cast on meditate. Honestly, actually, I'm thinking that the double cast on medi uh, meditate may be better, but no. Double cast on minigun still gives us two trinity. We still didn't get it. Piercing is good. So is splash damage. Honestly, you know what? Give me the splash damage. I, I'm actually okay with the splash damage. Uh, the thing is, now we would need three upgrades to try to shoot for the double cast, which is very unfortunate. We really wanted to pick that up. We'll just kind of have to deal with that, though. I know we didn't catch our shield, but I'm okay with that. So he's rooted, and he's just absolutely slaughtered. Uh, now, granted, the problem is we also killed the nurse because of the splash damage, but honestly, like, you gotta take the good with the bad. And I'm just gonna keep building up the shield here, make sure we get our shield toss, and then just yeet everything into the stratosphere. So the... The AoE ability of Minigun is actually kind of hilarious. I'm perfectly okay with it, even though it's like... Not what I wanted. I wanted the, uh... I will take mana region. I, I wanted the double cast, obviously. I, I said it like a million times. We did, I didn't even notice. We did get Selysi, which is fantastic because I want to deal with her early and not late. Okay, so go here, up, gotcha. You're rooted and you take a good chunk of damage. You love to see it. She's going to do that attack again. Give her a shield toss up and down and then hit her and then just move on. You got to you gotta just dodge the, the correct way. I'm getting better at dealing with Selysi and her garbage. Give her the hit there. And then, uh, you know what? Give me a root on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then hit her again. Up, down, side to side. Up, up, down, down, side to side. This attack, you just dodge back and forth. It's just a back and forth play. It's not even that big of a deal. We've got the double cast. Trinity. Oh, we don't have double cast, but we got the Trinity. Like, you can't deny that's just an obscene amount of damage. That attack I still have problems with, I'm aware. 
You gotta, you gotta play that one better, but she's dead. Yeah. We gotta take the heal on this one, no questions asked. So Lysi's out of the question. Let's go ahead and deal with, um, actually, know what? Gunner is in fire. Shizo is the other grass one. I can deal with uh, a tier four Shizo. You know, tier four Shizo is still less than ideal, but go ahead and get me the heals here. We, we took some fire damage on that one. Not what you wanna see. So against this guy, you gotta go down here, hit the shield toss, give me the minigun. As he gotta he goes to the inverse tile, basically. Give me the shuffle. We've got the Trinity. Taking some bad damage, not gonna lie. There's that kill, there's that kill. Well, almost. So we took some bad damage there, not a flawless. The the inverse tile thing, it's it's problematic. Roots are good, but we've got roots from the the Trinity cast. Moving right along now. Th this is good stuff. Good eats. Give me the shield. And let's just get some Trinity ticking. Get you hit. You're going to shoot me like that. That's totally fine. We've got a shield toss ready to go. And then I've got a mini gun ready for your face. You are dead. Very, very dead. Thank you very much. You love to see it. Um, you know what? Solar Beam is pretty good, but I don't want it. Too much mana. We're in a great spot. You just gotta keep playing the game that your deck is designed to play. Get your shield. Careful about when you shuffle. We took some dumb damage there. You hate to see it. Get the damage ticking from Minigun. Get your shield throw in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to get this in 32 damage left, or 32 HP left, I should say. Just uh, time your shield toss and get the kill. So we took a little bit of damage there to our shield, so we didn't get the flawless, but no HP lost. Give me the... Give me nothing. We do want to get flawlesses, though. It is very important. Honestly, don't send me to the mini boss. We're going to the shop again. We're going to keep digging for the good stuff. That was, that was so bad. That was legitimately the worst way you can play that. We got spell power. And then just go back. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. We've got a Trinity casted minigun ready to go. We got two kills off of that one. Shoot you with that one. You love to see it. And then we've got a Trinity cast here ready to go. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we took a little bit of damage. I mean, I, I stupidly stood in the way of the uh, the gun he was shooting. I forget the name of it, but you hate to see that. Give me mana vein. I mean, mana regen, definitely still important. Take me to the shop. What do you got for me? Heal, poison, root, na na na. Damage to gain max HP. I think we can survive that. And then we can gain max HP from that. Take a removal to get rid of the increased shuffle time because that's obviously terrible for us. We get one more upgrade. And at this point, go for the double cast. We can't afford a double cast on Mana Steel. We definitely can afford it on Meditate if it's even a thing you can get. So we didn't get it. It'll just apply 10 shield, honestly, totally fine. Not a big deal. We're going into the gunner fight with uh, some pretty low HP, especially considering that we're probably going to take some more damage here. Uh, we want to get up here. Give me that cast. All right. Bad spot to be in. Taking way too much damage. We've got a big old mini gun ready to go, though. That's what you like to see. And then just uh, get me that kill. Easy enough. It's kind of hoping that he would... Honestly, at this point, he's just dead if we do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 260 HP going into the gunner fight. Okay, the thing is, Glaive is just generally good, but not as good against bosses. I do love Glaive, and the chance to apply Frost on hit means it could accidentally trigger Frost damage on its own. But this one, you just gotta dodge. I did not mean to hit minigun. That was an accident. I double tapped W on that one. So we need to be not where she's shooting the bombs. Obviously. All right, mines, you just clear them the best way that you know how. 
I'm totally whiffing this, but we're getting a bunch of shield. Give me the shield toss, and then we gotta just send that out there. Give me the trinity. We've got haste. Utilize that. Good dodge. I mean, not that I dodged on purpose, but good damage there. Um, you know what? Go ahead and use minigun, even though it's not on trinity right now. Ah, uh, almost did that correctly, but almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and atomic bombs. And apparently at this point, minigun. Ah, uh, it's bad damage. You gotta, I mean, we dropped our shield anyways. Alright, he, she's going there, there, then there, then there. Okay, get the, get the root down on there. Um, we still have the spell power for minigun. Just go ahead and take the damage we got, even though it's not double casted. Double casted minigun is still like top tier something that would absolutely slap right now. But we do get some good scaling spell power as the fight goes on. Sitting on 12 spell power without the ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a, a Trinity mana or a minigun. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. We, we got the kill here. Honestly, just get the shield toss. Just wait for her to pop back up. Got it! Let's go! That was almost a flaw. Like, we didn't take much HP damage. We gotta save her. Um, do I want to deal with Shizo or Saffron? Definitely Saffron next. Tier 4 Saffron is a massive pain, and I really don't want to deal with Tier 4 Saffron. So, we, we can work with this. Give me shield... Give me fire, give me that which I desire. Yeah, yeah, yeep. Okay, and then now give me the trinity, and then just yeet them both into space. You love to see it. I don't think that was a flawless. No, it wasn't a flawless. We took a little bit of damage. Uh, give, me a, give me a skip. And it's like, it's 1030 at night in this game. I'm just pogged out of my freaking mind. One step from Eden is so good. I, it's, it's legitimately one of my favorite games of, if not the year, like the last five years. Give me the shield and then give me the minigun on this dude. We didn't get the spell power increase. We saved them both though. We're good. Even though we took a lot of damage. We've got a trinity ready to go. Just get him dead. We'd love to see it. Where you have fragile, gain mana region, gain a fragile at the start of battle. Honestly, we can tank one hit, have some mana region. We need those upgrades for minigun. Minigun is not quite good enough without that double cast. We want to get that heal though. We want to get those heals. We got them heals, boys. Let's go. Healed up. I mean, granted, we took some damage to get there from standing in fire. So he's going to move down. Nope, not going to move down. And then we just blast you. Yeah, yeah, yeet. Okay, so the thing is, we want to not cast minigun if we don't have our spell power ring. Because that's something that I'm noticing is like the damage is significantly lower as you would expect without that. We all, like, just some raw spell power without having to cast focus in the battle would also be kind of nice. So we have our spell power ring. We don't have trinity, but just go ahead and cast it. Just go for it. Taking a bunch of unnecessary damage there. Okay, this, uh, this guy is going to be a problem. I, I can tell you right now, this guy is going to be a huge problem. Putting fire all over the place. Uh, waving your banner all over the place. We will, we will rock you, etc., etc. All right, so we got a Trinity casted minigun. That's what you love to see. With the spell power, sitting on eight spell power without the ring. We have a bunch of shield and then cast that. You're dead. Okay. Obviously not a flawless, but we still took very little damage and then honestly, give me the luck. Yeah, missile cast on whatever. Yeah, I get it. Mana region lose max HP. Honestly, that would put us back down to where we are, where where we were before. 
but we would essentially have traded a little bit of whatever it was. I think we traded a removal for 0.3 mana regen. So if you told me you can get 0.3 mana regen for 65 credits, I would take it in a heartbeat. So yes, we will do that. Absolutely. Send me to the shop. We're going to keep fishing for good stuff and keep getting upgrades. Honestly, with this, two upgrades is going to be 250. Upgrade, refresh. Oh. Take some damage to gain max HP against Saffron. Give me a refresh. Wow, that's 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 fantastic. Thanks. Give me one more refresh. Sure. We 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 wasted all our money on refreshes. I realize exactly what I did, but I was really fishing for something good. Uh, we can't afford the double cast actually, so I don't know why I went for mana steel. We should have just banked that to try to get the three upgrade for minigun. So that that was just a bad play, and honestly, like if the run ends at this point because of that. I'm honestly okay knowing that like, hey, that was that was the misplay of the century. I hate dealing with those dudes. I, I don't know what it is, but I always seem to fail dodging that shot. Up, 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 down, down, down. You just move over and it's literally just like the simplest thing in the world. So we don't have Trinity ready to go, but we do have plenty of spell power. So just send it. Good damage. Now we have Trinity. Good damage there, and then just keep it moving, keep it trucking. We've got a Trinity ready to go, but we don't want to use it. We actually probably just hit me with a Trinity on that dude and just kill him. I, I mean, it's it's not as good as you want it to be, but there's your Trinity cast on minigun. Good enough. I'll take it. Not a flawless, so... Oh, Sequencer is a great Trinity generator. I just, I know that I would, like, tunnel vision on catching those shots and would completely ruin my, my day. Alright, so we're gonna, we're, I honestly, shuffle that right away. I legitimately hate that starting hand. So now we've got a little bit of stuff. We don't have a trinity ready, so honestly, just give me a shuffle. I will sit here and keep doing this garbage until I'm ready to go. Here, take a shield throw to the face. We didn't catch it, but now basically just wait for her to do something. All right, we are ready. Root you. Yeah, yeah, yeet. Let's go. What good damage. We, we actually should have just chunked that at her, but that's that's fine. We don't have much shield, but do whatever shield Tashi got. Honestly, not worth. Good damage. Get your shield back. Get your spell power up. We don't have a Trinity ready for minigun, so give me a shuffle. We want a Trinity cast it. We will be ready whenever it comes up. Uh, give me that. Um, I don't want to do this, but honestly, it's just such good damage. And then just yeet. And then actually we should have casted the thing. I do that every time. I think we've got the kill though, if we just do that. Not quite, and it's also not a kill because she does respawn. Okay, and then now we're dead. Ah. Uh, that was rough. We had something great building there, didn't ever get the double cast on minigun. That would have cranked it up to 11. It was a great run, solid run. I'm okay dying to Saffron. She's not one of my best bosses. And the respawn and immediately chunking a spell out there is always just a little bit rough. Um, Triforce is an incredible pickup. I would have loved to have had that on that run, gaining more spell power and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, this was a fantastic run. Only seven unlocks remaining. Tomorrow's episode, we're playing the gunner. What are we going to go for? Well, we can always go for a max mana, get blue bullets ticking spell power, but we kind of just did that. 
So maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for Innervate and we're gonna do a Jam Gunner build. It's a great build. I love rocking it. Go for Jam Can and things like that. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for that episode. That's going to be a gunner, but that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know your feedback, likes, dislikes, comments, all that good stuff. In addition, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this in the future and for an entire week of one of the greatest games I've played in quite some time. And make sure you check out the link tree in the description below. It has links to Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. You got streams five days a week, community Discord with a bunch of great people hanging out. Make sure you come check that out as well. But until the next episode, I'm Runt9, and I will see you later.